Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In Crystal Reports, you use the Formula Workshop window to create the various types of formulas that are used to select records, create custom group names, calculate values, and perform other formula-related activities. The Formula Workshop consists of two separate components, the Formula Editor and the Formula Expert. The Formula Editor is where you create almost all of the formulas used in Crystal Reports. The Formula Expert is a less frequently used aspect of the Formula Workshop, which allows you to create your own custom functions that can then be used by other formulas and stored into the Crystal Repository if using Crystal Enterprise. You can access the Formula Workshop in various places within Crystal Reports. You can click the Formula Workshop button that appears in the Experts toolbar to launch this screen in a separate window. You can also launch this window by choosing Report and then the Formula Workshop command from the menu bar. You can also access this window by clicking the small X plus 2 buttons that appear within various dialog boxes within Crystal Reports. When the formula editor is being displayed within the formula workshop, you can see the different sections of the window. At the top of the window, you can see the various buttons in the four small toolbars that are available for selection. At the left side of the window, you can view the workshop tree pane, which shows the various types of formulas and expressions which you can manipulate through this window. To the right of the workshop tree pane are the four main panes used to create your formulas within the formula editor. In the report fields pane, you can see all of the database fields which are available to reference within your formula. You'll also see any fields or groups created for the report within this pane as well. The middle pane of the three is the functions pane and this is where you will find all of the possible functions that you can insert into your formula grouped by category. Now the rightmost pane is the listing of operators which are available to use within your formula as well. Within each pane, you can click the small plus and minus signs next to each category to expand and collapse the objects within each section. Note that you can double click on any function or operator that's displayed within the pane to insert it into the currently selected area within the formula text window at the bottom of the panes. So in this manner you can edit and create the complex expression that consists of fields, functions, operators, and other text and numbers that you enter by hand into the formula text window. Notice that in each of the three panes you also have a small X button that you can click to close the pane. They can be turned back on using the buttons within the Expressions Editor toolbar. You can also click the small left and right arrows next to the small X to hide and show each pane temporarily while using the Formula Editor. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.